I can't even believe it. We're on the way to the Gulf of Mexico today. But as you know, every road trip actually starts here at the gas pump. Ready for this road trip? No. Long <laughs> drive. Very long. <laughs> we're trying to make it all the way to the beach today. I don't know if we're going to make it or not because Texas is such a huge state. it looks like we finally had a road trip casualty in our bus that some of you may have predicted a long time ago but I can't believe it actually happened look at the backsplash from our kitchen well the tile from our kitchen backsplash all over the place like those pieces just completely crashed out of there I guess if you really look at the backs of these tiles you can see that we were not getting good adhesion like the only place these pieces were stuck in is where you can see this gray thin set that's pressed into the tile. All of this part was not adhering at all. I don't know if I was not using enough thin set or possibly my thin set was too dry and the tiles weren't squishing in good. I'm not sure what was the problem there. I would have to go back to that video and look and see if I can make any determination as to why we're having failures here in the kitchen. Over here we have some crumbling grout too. Obviously the tiles are still in place, but you can probably see a lot of the grout has crumbled out just a little bit at a time. I just keep finding little grains of grout on the countertop. But in the bathroom, we're still not having this problem. Like everything is adhered perfectly there's no cracking there's no crumbling i have never found crumbles of grout in the bottom floor of the shower before the only place the grout has cracked is right here up against this piece of trim and we realized later that it's because the trim is too loose there and was allowing that to crack and break like that so these are interesting lessons to learn for I guess the, to answer the question whether or not you should tile in a bus. Apparently there is some risk, <laughs> but it's all repairable risk. So it's still not the end of the world. Nothing is permanently damaged or destroyed. It's just temporarily disintegrated, <laughs> I guess. which I'm pretty excited about. So good night and we'll see you then. Oh my gosh, you guys, I just have to tell you, we had such a rough road trip getting here yesterday because we decided to do the whole trip all in one day instead of breaking it into two days. And it was a mistake. We should have stopped somewhere and stayed the night on the way because the drive was killing us. My back was spasming. We didn't get here until way, way later than we thought we would get here. Oh, and that's not all. We had bad luck losing things on the way. I lost my fairly new, fairly expensive sunglasses and Mike, we're pretty sure, lost the GoPro on a tripod. It's gone. So it was not the greatest road trip getting here, but now that we're here, it's pretty great. Let me just show you our view out the back bedroom window. There it is. Just over that little dune is our ocean view. 
and that's where the sun rises in the morning. And Mama Kitty loves to sit and look out the back window or lay in the sun. Well, this is super convenient. Let me just show you. Where we're parked in our bus is right over there through that little driveway, like just right there on the beach. And where we can dump our tanks and fill water is right here. I mean, it's so close and so convenient. And this is the Malaquit campground. There's four different campgrounds on Padre Island and we're going to be staying probably at all four of them because we want to explore all the differences. So this is the Malaquit campground. It's $14 a night because it has some facilities like showers but there's no electric or any kind of hookups so it's still boondocking and roughing it. But at least we don't have far to go to um, dump and refill our water. Is this the first time we're, we've seen ocean in this bus? This is definitely the first time we've seen ocean in this bus. Look, ocean. In this bus. See, that's how close the dump station is to the campground, you guys. It's right there. Wonderful. Super convenient. And it's free. It's completely free to dump and fill at that dump station. This place is crazy cool. I like that part a lot. I know. And there's our spot. We have to turn around at the end of the road to uh, get the right angle for getting into our spot. Almost, but Almost. not quite. <laughs> and look at all the flowers growing here. It's beautiful out here in the dunes. I always wonder when I see people set up with tents and stuff and then we drive by, do they just go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like tent camping though, I really do. Yeah, it's quite the adventure. Mm -hmm. That is way too tilted. Mm -hmm. He's gonna have to come back out again and get a little closer to the car this time. Not too like close because Dana looks like a brick. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm not talking to you anymore. They made the walkway restricted, so we have to walk in the sand around this place. It's the alternate route just to the right of the walk down. It must have sustained some kind of damage or something in a storm. So we're just going to have to do it the hard way walking in the sand. There's been a lot of sand in my life lately. Anybody else notice that? We found the way around the boardwalk. That's right. The alternate. The alternate route. We're here! I can't believe we're finally here! And we're finally making it to the beach, you guys. After we had to do all of our chores this morning, then it was like social hour at the um, with not RV park. What's at it? our bus. So, yeah, social hour at our bus in the campground. So we were meeting our neighbors and the campground host. So that was fun. But now we're finally down here to the water. Look how beautiful this is.
Okay, I'm pleasantly surprised by how warm this water is. I mean, it's not like bathtub warm, but yeah. I was expecting it to be a bit of a shock, mm -hmm. like, and like unwantedly cold. But it's not, it's really nice. Like, I feel like I could swim in this. We might need to go change the direction. I know, right? What were we thinking? We just didn't know. There's Mike, he's going for it. We made it to the beach. <laughs> we made it into the sea. I swam in the Gulf of Mexico now. It's like the fourth ocean for me. Is it? Atlantic, Pacific, Caribbean, and here. Still the Atlantic, technically, but it's very specifically the Gulf, so I'm gonna give it to you. I'm gonna say four for you. It is, it's four. I'm with you, I'm same. I've swam in all those same four oceans. Now we just gotta hit the Arctic Ocean and bag the, the, the fifth one. Um, okay, I'm sure gonna miss you. Oh. Dana, will you swim in the Arctic Ocean with me? No. <laughs> Not a chance. Get off my bus. <laughs> I'll just be there for the northern lights. And moral support. Naturally. For when you get back out of the water and you're frozen half to death. Frozen to death. Maybe there'll be a tornado. It's okay, our bus is built like a hurricane shelter. That's right. <laughs> it's been a while since this body's seen some skin. Our son, I mean. I know, right? I was long overdue. I'm finally getting my summer. It's summer in November. This is great. Yeah, this place would probably suck in the uh, middle of summer. Oh yeah, we would never come here in the summer. We would die. Yeah. It would be so hot, so humid, and so miserable. I mean, like, if you lived in Texas and it was hot and humid and miserable all the time anyway, this would be less miserable because at least there would be an ocean to get into. Yeah. ravenous from swimming. You know how it is. Swimming always makes you hungry. So this is what a typical lazy morning at the beach in the bus looks like. We're just hanging out having our morning coffee and I wanted to show you guys what it looks like where we're at. So here's our little space with our little barbecue grill and picnic table. Here's what it looks like where we parked. Here's the campground. It's pretty small. There's just a few more camp um, areas down there. These spaces over here that are large spaces. A turnaround at the end. And these few spaces. It's not very big at all. Behind me, out in front of our bus, is the sand dunes and the middle of the island. Down here is the rest of the campground, the entrance to the campground, the bathrooms. Way off in the distance out there, that funny little um, building and the skyline is the visitor center. So we're gonna go check that out in a little while today. And the boardwalk is actually closed at the end. So we just walk right on the other side of the boardwalk down to the beach right there. 
this is where I'm in the east, so the sun rises out here in the water in the morning. And that's it for the rest of the campground. It's pretty small here and not even full, which I guess is probably just due to the time of year. I don't think most people really think of camping on the beach in November as like a, you know, Thanksgiving time holiday. We're just weirdos like that. We have a little rum monkey here. Oh, Mommy Cita, is that your perch? What are you doing, Mama? No. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, Mama? She's happy as can be out here. She's a beach kitty for sure. She's now? like, I am out of here. Dad, big feet will step on me. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting when we got here, we paid for like three days. We just wanted to like get here. We didn't want to drive out in the sand or anything and like take any chances of burying the bus. So we were going to like scout it out and stuff. So we paid for the three days and then we got to know the park host and they were like, oh, do you guys have the parks pass? I'm like, oh yeah, totally. And they're like, oh, okay, so it's only, it's half price if you have the parks pass. We'll update your, uh, your stay. So we got to stay here for six days. <laughs> notice how it feels so different when you're at the beach like everything feels lazier and mellower I think time actually moves slower <laughs> I love that feeling how many days have we been here now five five days we've been at Padre Island for five days now and we're just barely on our way to the visitor center to get our passport book stamped. 
the visitor center is literally what maybe two minutes away from oh, our yeah. campground a minute and a half maybe we could have rode our scooter <laughs> over here for sure totally we could have walked <laughs> yeah. especially on the beach oh we should have done that we should have walked on the beach to the sure, visitor yeah, center yeah. that would have been a once once in a lifetime right, right. <laughs> So if you guys come here, you can do it cooler than us. Just take your passport on the beach with you and walk from the Malakweet campground over to the visitor center. Look at this maze of woodwork up here. Oh, know your beach warning flags. Dangerous marine life. I've never seen that flag before. Huh. We are. Here. Oh, for like man o' wars or something? Look straight up. Oh. Got a green flag day. It means we can go swimming. Green we means go. I like it. Maybe we should have checked that before we went swimming today. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like I'm the only one who can go in because I was the only one with a mask. <clears throat> That's right. It's up to me to stamp the passport book. Do it. I can do this. Don't get, forget my mouth Italian. There you go. Oh, you want that too? Here's the first thing we're looking for. Let's see, we're in the gray section. Right there. There we go. And... And a turtle. Cool. There we go. Okay. Alrighty, it's gonna be nine sixty. This place is really kind of cool. I like this little semi-covered patio area. Hey, I have to tell you, I know I told you I was gonna give you the mouse so you could go in and choose yours, but they only had one to choose from. Wait till you see it. Oh, super it's cool. so great, huh? <laughs> Here, let me see I if I can get it in a red light. Okay, which is this the North Beach? This is yes, the North Beach. Beach. Okay, so we found North Beach where There's you can just drive of, out onto the sand yeah, for as far as the eye can see. So yeah, we can definitely come here and look at how long the beach is. That's what I'm concerned about is make sure we can park up here because the this like you can see where the water line kind of can be on a real high tide is like right up here. So we want to make sure that we don't. Uh, have any issues with high tides. What time is it right now? It's uh, 2.50 on the 15th. Check the tide chart I picked up so at the tide, visitor center. Uh, is 11 tonight, so right now it's... Uh, Low tide. 7.30 uh, will be low tide, so we're in between tides right now. Padre Island is a very long, narrow barrier island, and three out of the four campgrounds are on the Gulf of Mexico side of the island. Only one campground, the Bird Island Basin campground, is on the lagoon side of the island, which is called Laguna Madre. And from what we understand, the mother side of the island is the gentler side. Okay, you guys, here's the map of Padre Island National Seashore. So let me give you a little overview of our plans for the next few weeks. This whole green area is all of the Padre Island National Seashore, which stretches all the way from Corpus Christi down to South Padre Island, which is almost all the way down to Brownsville. So it's a huge barrier island. We're up here at the Malaquit Campground next to the Malaquit Visitor Center. And today we're gonna to be heading up here 
to North Beach to camp actually right on the beach for, I don't know, an unknown number of days. Then we're going to head over here to the lagoon side of the island, to Bird Island Basin, for another unknown number of days before we head down to the South Beach camping area, which is another free boondocking. North Beach and South Beach are the free boondocking sites. Malaquit is uh, campground is $14 a night or $7 a night if you have your parks pass and the Bird Island Basin is $8 a night or $4 a night if you have your parks pass. But so we're doing some cheap campground camping and some free boondocking on the free beaches. And the best part, as you drive down, you can actually get in your four wheel drive, which is advised, and drive down the beach. And um, between miles 10 and 15 is called Little Shell Beach, which apparently is just scattered with all beautiful small shells. And then farther down between milepost 20 and 25 is Big Shell Beach, where apparently there's, you know, shells the size of your hand and bigger. Oh, the lens is so filthy. So, so I'm totally looking forward to that kind of exploring and I can't wait to bring you guys along with us. Okay, you guys, we're on our way to the next campground where we're gonna be boondocking on the beach, in right the, the sand, I mean, right there. Right there. So come back and see us next week to check out those adventures. That's right. Which are hopefully not getting stuck adventures. Oh God, that would be so terrible. <laughs> right? <laughs> However, we'll show you guys all the hot spots and uh, we're probably gonna take a cool little adventure to some of those beaches that Carrie spoke about a little earlier. Yeah. So, uh, there's lots of stuff to do here. Definitely be there because there's some really cool stuff coming up. So we'll see you guys next week, next yeah. Thursday. Yeah. And uh, thanks so much, you guys. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. That really helps out our channel. And um, if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Get that membership so you can hit the subscribe button. <laughs> Smash it. And check out our Patreon, check out our Etsy, and uh, come back and see us next week. Bye guys. See ya. As you can see, I'm setting up my ham radio stuff. However, we're not gonna really show this on the side anymore because, you know, this is more of a bus life thing and this is kind of a side note. So, if you wanna see it, I'm over at uh, Ham Radios are for Nerds on the YouTube. I started another channel for that, so I'll be posting what I do with my ham radio and stuff. Link will be down in the description for you guys. I'll see you guys there. 